Hi, I'm Rob Wozniak with Preservation Works, and today I'm going to show you how to mix up some mortar using NHL5, natural hydraulic lime. It's from the Catalonian part of Spain, and uh, it's by, made by Tigre, and it's a family-owned business that Lauren and I visited uh, last year. And we bought some of their materials, and we're offering them for sale uh, on our website. We start with a bucket. Uh, the bucket is a uh, volume based so that's why we use buckets we don't use weights and we don't use shovels so take a bucket in this case we're going to be mixing two kinds of sand one is a concrete sand and this helps with the distribution of the aggregate because we're pointing a stone wall we want some bigger aggregate in the wall the joints on the wall are big uh, it's a rubble foundation rubble wall entirely not just the foundation so there's the sand and you can see some bigger aggregate in it. Three quarters of this, roughly, is the guesstimate. But when you use a bucket, you get pretty close to your measurements. And then we're going to take one and a quarter of this, it's called Jersey Brown Sand. It's a little lavendery. It comes from New Jersey and the, uh, Delaware River is just about 400 yards uh, that way, so the sand is relatively uh, consistent with kind of what's happening down here in New Jersey on the edge of Pennsylvania. Um, as far as sand goes, so that's one sand, and then we'll do another one of these. This is a mason sand; it's much finer. I find it to be actually a little bit too fine for most sorts of uh, work, but for this purpose, it's doing the job because we've added the concrete sand. All right, so there's that sand. We're doing this mix in a one to two ratio, one part NHL five and two parts sand by volume. This will allow the mortar to. Uh, slide more easily through a grout bag. We're using uh, grout bags because of the type of wall we're working with. It's irregular stone and irregular joints and just allows you to squeeze the mortar back into the wall a little bit easier. And then you take slickers and you can actually push it back fully into the joints. That. In addition to that, we are adding for every batch, a teaspoon and a half of uh, buff pigment. And a black pigment because uh, our client wanted a mortar that was just a little bit darker than our sample. And um, this just kind of does that. It tones, it tones it down just ever so slightly. Put that in there. We dry mix all of this. The materials have been mixed dry, and uh, you can't see any large chunks or patterns of lime in there, or pigment, or sand. NHL5 uh, is a mortar that sets up pretty quickly. It has uh, a lot of hydraulicity. It, it has a strong hydraulic set to it. And, uh, and a little bit sh of a shorter working time than our previous mortar mix. So here's what it looks like when it's done. This one is a little on the dry side, but you basically get to see it in there. And uh, this will be good for laying up some stone around a window that used to have brick around it. Always use clean potable water. Lauren says it's clean potable water, but I'm going to say potable water. That's a less than a half a gallon of water that goes into this. So it's going to vary depending on how wet the sand is. Uh, this sand is starting to dry out. It's a little damp still. I'm from Minnesota. What can I say? You want to add water slowly so you don't go too far and make it into a big 
mushy mess. So this mix is a little bit on a wetter side than the first mix we made, and it's more likely, more easily to go through a, a grab bag. What I'll do now is we have these great little tubs and uh, I tend to double mix things in the tub because a five gallon bucket is not a not the greatest for mixing consistently. See a little bit of sand and lime down there towards the bottom. Shall I get a grab bag? Test it out? Mm-hmm. Okay. Alright, so this is a grout bag. These are disposable. Um, so never used one before. Just cut the tip off a bit at a size that you feel like you want your mortar to squeeze out. This is just a test, of course. You want to make sure that it goes to the bag. Just like that. So these will be laid into the mortar joints, and then we will take uh, slickers, such as this one, although thicker than this one. We will push that mortar back into the wall. Uh, make sure we have contact all the way back to the wall as far as we can. So that's the basic of uh, mortar mixing.